For this card, I've assembled various bits first because it just makes it easier. So I have assembled the front. So you have a acetate sheet and everything has been designed with the slits already in it. And when you're putting these layers together, don't worry so much about the edges, worry about matching up the slit. Edges, if they're not quite right, you can trim afterwards. If your slit is in the wrong place, you've had it. You can't do anything with it. So I've done a little stamped and heat embossed sentiment as well. So this is going to be the front of the card. But it's not going to be a straightforward card because this one is going to light up. Now you could do it without the lighting up effect if you want to. But that's what I had in mind for this one. So there is another piece behind this, which is just going to be a white card. Once I've got all my pieces actually cut out, what I've done is I have followed the circuit diagram, which again, you're given in the file. And basically it has the lines up, across and down. I've put this tape through to the back just because that's my personal preference. But you don't even have to have the slit there if you don't want it. You do need to have a break, obviously, because that's the negative side. That's the positive side that goes over the top of the battery. I cut a very, very narrow slit where that line is there to break the circuit again. And I've just stuck my little LED on with a piece of sticky tape. I've made a switch up. Again, the switch is in the file. And it's simply folded together so that you have a longer flat piece, which you cover with some copper, copper tape. I've put a couple of tiny little bits of the foam tape over the top to make this the same level and to add extra pressure to the completion of the circuit. And if I put that over there, you can see that the light comes on, get it in focus. Okay, so when that touches that, it will be on. When it goes over to the left, it will be off. Now you can write on and off on the front of the card if you want to, but to be honest, if someone is so silly as to look at a switch and not know what to do with it when there's only one option, then yeah. So that will sit on there, or in this case, it's going to sit in the side on that side. And you need to put the card together. So when you're putting the foam on, make sure you use a tiny little bit of foam underneath the switch and to the right of the switch. I've also included in the file, if you want to use them, you can use these little donuts if they fit the lights that you're putting on. This one is slightly too long for this donut, ever so slightly. But you can stack those up to the same height as the foam tape or you can cut out a donut from foam tape or you can just take some foam tape just trim off these extra bits here and you can make it very narrow and when it's narrow you can put it around your light bulb And when you put it together, you make sure that your switch goes through the front and you line it up and you stick it down. And when you move it to the right, it will light up. Now, you can't see that at the moment because it's daylight. So I'm just going to close my door and close my blind and then you should be able to see it working. So that's the card front done and you just need to stick it onto a base and that's finished. So it's not a complicated card to do. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.